Well, a massive manhunt is underway in Germany Wednesday for a Tunisian man suspected of being involved in Monday's deadly truck attack at a Berlin Christmas market. Police searched a shelter for migrants in Western, West Germany where the suspect is believed to be uh, to have lived, actually. Now, meanwhile, authorities have released a Pakistani national, the initial suspect in the attack, saying they did not have enough evidence to charge him with a crime. The Islamic State terrorist group is claiming responsibility for the carnage in which 12 people were killed. A viewer's Ladit Sahok has more details. Berlin's landmark Brandenburg Gate was illuminated in the colors of the German national flag and the colors of the city of Berlin flag Tuesday night. Victims were honored with a memorial service and a candlelight vigil at the site of the crash. I couldn't believe it. I mean, not two hours before, I stood exactly at the spot where the truck drove in. I've been coming here since I was little, and I have such beautiful memories of the place. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, accompanied by senior government officials, visited the scene of the attack and laid flowers at a makeshift shrine for the victims. She said she doesn't have a simple answer as to why someone would want to bring death to people who are out celebrating life. Ich weiß nur, wir können nicht all I know is that we can't and do not want to live without all of that. The Christmas markets, the happy hours with friends and families outside on our squares. We don't want to have to live with fear that paralyzes us. Even if it's difficult at this hour, we will find the strength to live life the way we want to live it in Germany, free, united and openly. German officials say the attack was intentional. An American tourist witnessed it. As I looked up, this truck was barreling through the market and through the stalls and through the crowd coming almost at me. The truck was stowed away Monday to be thoroughly examined for clues. The crash in Berlin bore strong similarities to a truck attack in the French coastal city of Nice in July that killed 86 people and wounded hundreds of others. U.S. officials and others have expressed condolences to Germany and are calling for adequate security measures in their own countries during the holiday season. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.